so Tesla just did something unbelievable. For the first time in automotive history, a car drove itself from the factory straight to its new owner's house. No driver, no remote control, just pure autonomous technology doing what was impossible yesterday. Look, I'm not gonna say anything else, I'm just gonna play the video and watch it for yourself. Hey everyone, Des from The Electric Oracle. Now, now look, I know there are Tesla haters out there and frankly, most of you probably, you're not even bothered about this story, but I've got to say this is a genuine world first and it's never been done before. We're talking about a Tesla Model Y that rolled off the production line at Giga Texas and drove itself 30 minutes across parking lots, highways, city streets to reach its owner's home. Look. This isn't just a factory to factory transport. Tesla vehicles already do that internal movement from production to the other side of Giga Texas before getting loaded onto car carriers. And yes, they just launched robo taxis in Austin with safety monitors in passenger seats, that's fine. But this, this is completely different. This is automotive history being written and I'm going to show you exactly what happened. <laughs> right, let's break down exactly what we just witnessed because the technical achievement here is absolutely mind-blowing. This Tesla Model Y completed a 30-minute journey from Giga Factory Texas to its customer's home, reaching speeds of up to 72 miles per hour on public highways. Now look, according to Ashok Eliswamy, Tesla's head of AI and autopilot, 
there were zero humans in the vehicle and zero remote operators controlling it. This means Tesla's full self-driving system handled every aspect of that journey, navigating factory exit procedures, merging onto Texas highways and highway speeds, and managing traffic interactions with human drivers, following complex routing through urban areas executing the final delivery to a residential address. My, my mind is blown. From an engineering standpoint, this represents, this represents years of neural network training, millions of miles of real world data and countless software iterations coming together in one seamless demonstration. Look, having followed Tesla's FSD development since 2016, I can tell you this level of autonomous capability was theoretical just five years ago. The fact that they have achieved Factory to customer delivery with zero human intervention puts Tesla years ahead of any other manufacturer and in practical autonomous vehicle development too. But, but here's the question that matters. What does this mean for you as a potential EV buyer? Is this something that interests you and do you find it as fascinating as I do? Now, before we get too excited about robot deliveries, let's talk about the regulatory reality because this affects when you'll actually see this technology. Now look, the UK Automated Vehicles Act 2024 sets the framework for self-driving vehicles, but we're looking at 2026 and the earliest for this level of operation to, to be legal on British roads. And that timeline matters financially. If you're considering Tesla's FSD package, it's about 7K in the UK right now, but you need to understand exactly what you're buying. The technology we, we've just witnessed, it won't be legal for UK customer deliveries anytime soon, possibly longer than a year, even two years after government um, approval processes. This isn't Tesla holding back features to annoy us. It's, it's regulatory compliance protecting consumers from liability issues that haven't been resolved yet. Now, th the question I get asked constantly is, should I buy FSD now or wait? Based on this demonstration, the technology is clearly ready, but the, re the legal framework isn't. So let's talk about what this matters for the broader EV market, because Tesla just raised the bar in a way that's going to terrify their competitors. You've got Mercedes, you've got BMW, you've got Audi, you've got the Volkswagen Group. None of them are even close to this level of, uh, of autonomous capability. And Waymo has autonomous taxis in limited areas with predetermined routes and geofencing. Cruise has been struggling. In fact, I think that's been, that's been shut down by General Motors, if I'm not wrong. But Tesla, <laughs> they just demonstrated end-to-end -end autonomous operation from factory to the customer's address with zero restrictions. This creates a competitive moat that's going to be incredibly difficult to cross. Now, for UK buyers, this has massive implications for resale values and future proofing. If Tesla achieves full autonomous delivery capability before other manufacturers, they, before they reach level three, the residual value advantage becomes permanent. We're not talking about minor feature differences here. We're talking about fundamental capability gaps that could take competitors three to five years to bridge. So let me ask you a question. What do you think? Does this make Tesla the only sensible choice for autonomous driving? Or are you waiting for competitors to catch up? But let's get practical about what this means for actual car buying decisions. Right, let's get down to the practical implications because this demonstration changes the calculation for EV buyers significantly. If you're considering a Tesla purchase, that £6,800 FSD option just became a lot more compelling as future proofing. But look, here's my honest assessment of where we stand in the UK. The technology is clearly ready. Tesla proved that beyond, beyond any doubt but UK implementation is still 12 to 18 months away due to regulatory requirements. So if you're buying a Tesla today, you're essentially paying for capability that you can't legally use yet. But look, that said, the resale value implications are massive. A Tesla with FSD hardware that can eventually do autonomous driving and delivery will hold value significantly better than any competitive vehicle without this capability. And look, my recommendation for UK buyers, if you're planning to keep your Tesla for more than three years, FSD becomes a real strong investment based on what we've just witnessed. And if you're a two year lease cycle buyer, the financial math doesn't work yet. 
The other consideration is infrastructure. Tesla supercharger network advantage becomes even more critical when you when your car needs to navigate autonomously to charging locations. The other consideration is infrastructure. The, the Tesla supercharger network advantage becomes even more critical when your car needs to navigate autonomously to charging locations. So are you convinced enough by this demonstration to pay for FSD capability now or are you waiting for full UK legislation? Whew, I'm getting warm. This demonstration isn't just about one car delivering itself to one customer. It's about, I think it's about the, the complete transformation of how the automotive industry operates. Now think about the logistics implications. Tesla just eliminated the need for car carrier trucks delivery drivers and regional distribution centers for local deliveries. The cost savings are enormous and Tesla can now deliver vehicles with essentially zero marginal cost within a reasonable radius of their factories. Here's what really matters for UK consumers. I think when this technology reaches the UK market, it's going to create price pressure that competitors simply cannot match. Tesla's vertical integrated approach, manufacturing, software, charging network, and now autonomous delivery creates operational efficiencies that traditional manufacturers built on dealing networks simply can't replicate. And for UK buyers, this suggests Tesla's pricing advantage will only increase over time. We're looking at the future where Tesla can offer lower prices, better service, and I think superior technology simultaneously. Now look, the traditional automotive industry has about 24 months to figure out their response to this. Now this is exactly the kind of industry transformation I track in my Thursday catch-up newsletter, connecting technological breakthroughs to practical buying decisions for UK consumers. Look, I'm gonna be straight with you. This Tesla autonomous delivery demonstration is the kind of breakthrough that only happens once, once every few years in the automotive industry. It's not just about the technology working, it's about Tesla proving they can scale autonom autonomous operations beyond controlled environments into real world customer service. And for UK EV buyers, this demonstration should fundamentally change how you evaluate Tesla against the rest of the competitors. The technology gap we just witnessed isn't something that gets closed quickly. And Tesla just proved they're not just an electric car company anymore, they're a robotics company that happens to make cars. So if you want this level of industry analysis delivered into your inbox every Thursday, join my Thursday catch-up newsletter. It's free, it's UK focused, and it helps you make smarter EV decisions. So let me, t let me ask a question. What do you think about this demonstration? Does it change your view of Tesla versus the, comp the competition? Drop your thoughts down below. I can't even speak. Look, guys, I, I, think, this is absolute I think this is absolutely phenomenal. I'm really struggling to get my words out because I'm so excited. And look, I know there's a lot of Tesla haters out there. Um, I know you, a lot of people don't like Elon Musk, for example. But this, you've got to admit, admit this is one of the biggest breakthroughs we've seen for a very, very long time. And I, I look forward to seeing more videos like this. I'm, I'm sure we will. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I know I've been blabbering on for the last few minutes and I'm, I'm really excited. I'm getting warm because it's quite warm here in the UK at the moment. But look, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you watching. If you're watching up until this point, my name's Des from the Electric Oracle signing off. I'll see you in the next video.